What do you got here, buddy? Well, I got a big uh oh, or well, potential uh oh, for releasing the strap. Uh, last week, I think it was, one of the bolts fell out of the back caliper over here. And it was almost a party. Bad party. So, this little guy right here. That doesn't belong there. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to be able to pull that out, so. Whoops. Some, some uh oh spaghetti -os. so we'll just stick this guy right back down here. <laughs> and, uh, Pretend we didn't see that. Yeah, so we got some parts to unbox. <coughs> some stuff we're going to do to the G today. We got the boys in the truck. Uh, they're taking a nap. We'll get them later. And we got our handy little helper. That's right. So, She'll be the biggest help. Here we go. So before we get started on the G, we got it in here, gonna get it up on the lift. I got some parts I'm gonna unbox uh, and show you a little bit what we're doing and parts and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out and grab them, uh, do some unboxing. Whoa! What are you guys doing in there? Are you trying to scare me? Oh man, it's always great if your friends show up to come hang out and help, but yeah, you, know, you silly little pranksters. <laughs> So we got some extra help today. The guys showed up, so awesome. High five. <laughs> High five to you too. Yeah. So, all right, anyways, let's get some of this stuff out and get it unboxed. We here, you want one? You think you can handle this? You're gonna try, ain't you? Come on, let's go sit it out here. What's in there? Bet you it's not toys. Toys for a different age group. So. Dad. This is a heavy one. It's like Christmas. All right, so we're gonna start out with the first box. Uh, we got a little bit of a accessory here, a little mermaid doll. You know, mermaids, they always make things a little more spectacular, mm. brighten up your day. So, good old Rock Auto. Sometimes supplying good parts for cheap prices for budget builders. So, on box number one, got another box. We got another box. It's like Christmas, man. Christmas for myself all the time, you know? A gymnast. Here yeah. she comes. We got a jungle gym going on over here. Oh, yay! Look, not another box. Not another box. We didn't try hard enough. So, we got us some bigger rotors. Hope these are the right ones. Uh, cross drilled, slotted. They've even got the cool little stickers on them, tells you where they go. So you don't mess that up. If you mess that up, then good luck to you in life. So there's one. These are gonna be the fronts. Yeah, excitement. Ooh, a box. Oof, box. Let's try this again. This is a heavy one, so this one's probably all going to be rotors. Yeah, you're as excited as I am. So here's Hi. the back ones. Hi. A little bit smaller. We'll take a look at them better once we get them installed. There's the other rear one. Box number one, the heaviest box is down. Go over here to this box. See what we got in it. Let's take a moment to appreciate this shirt. The OG full yeet. Yes, sir. Somebody's got a lot of energy today. We should share. Oh yeah, 
yeah. New calipers. Out of the box painted. Out of the That's box. That's pretty sweet. Ready to rock and roll. Add a little spazazz, spazazz with hardware. Look at that. Yeah. So. Please tell me one of them's red, one of them's white, one of them's blue. I wish. <laughs> Couldn't find that option. So we'll go over these a little bit more later. Uh, an initial install and the reason why. One mistake, one problem leads to all new parts all the way around. There's another one. These are obviously going to be the front. So shiny. Look, we got our little unboxer over here. She's ready to rock. Give her a knife, it'll be over with. Whew, she probably poke her own eyeball out. So there's probably the rotors for or uh, calipers for the front. So if you've ever been to a uh, dirty Santa Christmas with me, then you're probably laughing because this is karma. This is what I do to my dirty Santa presents. So we got the rear ones up here. It's come out really nice. Yeah, very cool. So it's supplied with all the hardware. There's the rear ones. You know what they didn't give me? Stickers. Oh, no horsepower gains? No horsepower gains. Whoa! What's in that box? It's a moving box. Huh. That's the handy little helper. That's the one that drinks all your milk and eats all your food. Where are you going? <laughs> Sweet. So here's the ending part. So, in this kit that I got, all new brake lines. <laughs> oh no. All new brake lines, all new brake hardware. Um, and then. Brand new pads all the way around. So, this is actually the Z23 carbon fiber ceramic pad kit. Um, this is everything is power stop we got all this off of rock auto for uh, 06 g35 so uh, the reason why i cho choose to run the power stop stuff uh, with the american machine the 240 that i built in 2018 i run power stop stuff on it i run power stop on my truck and for the price it runs really good um, full upgrade kit I think with shipping and everything was right at a thousand dollars for all this but there's cores on the on the calipers so if i send the calipers back i'll only be in this for like 700 bucks so let's get to it so we got the g on the rack gotta get the wheels off if anybody wants to trade for these tsws their 20s I'd like some 18s, 19s, maybe some other 20s, but they really, 20s. Yeah, they're keep 20s. them clean though. Not really. Well, we won't tell. So if anybody wants to trade for them, holler at me. They're in good shape. Tires look nice. Yeah. Over half tread. Over half tread. Parts look nice on the counter. Nice parts got all laid out. Ready to get things done. What do you think about them, Shiraldi? You like them? Oh, I think they look great. <laughs> I'll tell you, one of my favorite parts about going wheeling, coming home and cleaning out your rig is sometimes you just find snacks that you took with you from the last trip. Golly, little mini Rice Krispie treats. What is that, a Rice Krispie? <laughs> ah, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, fire in the hole, Rice Krispie treat.
It's probably cold. <laughs> probably a little cold. Mm. Rice Krispie bread. Ooh, charger. Found all kinds of stuff. Peanut butter crackers. Ah, oh, somebody ate that one. Thought that was in there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Damage assessment. Oh. Um, I was driving when this happened, so the wheel didn't really do any damage to the wheel. Looks oh, like paint rubbed off. Paint rubbed off. Yeah, she looks all right. Not lucky. She looks all right. And of course, the full blowout of the piston. This is uh, where I guess the bolt and everything just backed out. I don't know what point. I heard it going down the road. It was like, blah, 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 blah. I thought it was a drive shaft until it hit the brakes. <laughs> so, yeah. That's not, it didn't wreck, so that's good. But all this is gonna be replaced, everything. So we'll go from there. All the other brakes seem to be fine, so. What do you think about it? Hmm? We doing okay over there, bud? The painter's pro management specialist. He doesn't do anything but supervise and that he does the best job ever. He's the greatest supervisor. We love him here. Well, it's already lunchtime, snacks, stuff, <laughs> brimstone snacks. So. You gonna eat those? Huh? You gonna eat them? Snack time, Nancy. That's what we call this. What you got there? Uh huh. She says we're gonna have to just drag it out and burn it. Hmm. Well, we got blood, boys. Got blood. We got busted knuckles. Jeremy! Supervisor, we're calling OSHA. We got, we got damages. What okay. are we gonna do about this, bud? Ah, oh, just rub some hot sauce on it. That's not real. <laughs> so it looks like we got everything tore out. Uh, somebody's been on this side playing. Um, we got a new brake drum adjuster. It's kind of odd that uh, it's coincidental that somebody was just here working and then had a failure. This bracket for the line. Kind of doing stuff back here. It's kind of like a Polaris, you know? Oh, it's there. Man. It's there. <laughs> but it's just there. Appearances only. So, yeah, we got this side, the, the rear done, uh, drum brakes. I don't even worry about those because they suck from factory. I don't think any G35 or 350Z Zs are like this, right? I don't think any of them's been worth the shit. No. So. I don't think so. Not messing with that. And then the front, we got the front apart except for. Yeah, you already got the brake lines off. Yep, so put the line out. This side was easy. Now, the way my luck always goes is you get the easy part first and then, then the other ones. We've probably been working on this for 20 minutes. Yeah, something like that. 20 minutes, two people, got both sides off, no special tools, just uh, regular what you'd have at home. But this is actually pretty cool. Whoa! Can, Whoa! At least she's keeping my tools all in one place. This is something actually that I didn't know that I discovered today. The factory brake line on the front, I've never seen this before, so that's why it's new to me. So the factory brake line is basically in sections. You've got three pieces tied off into one. So with the power stop kit, uh, I'll show you after install, but it's all one piece. Um, it has tabs. We'll go over there and look at it, but it has tabs instead of being three separate lines. It's all one line Even though this is complete one line, but you got three rubber sections So we'll go over there and look at that real quick and then the back section is a small line one piece Nothing special nothing modified on that. Yeah factory comes out of the line comes over here to a holder on the shock and then has a big droop loop comes to another bracket and then to the caliper that's actually not here. So this is actually what the new line looks like in comparison to the other one. Right here, it's all one piece. It's got these little tabs right here that you can slide back and forth adjustable. These braided lines, if I haven't said that already. But basically, do the same thing the factories did. Connect here and then, you know, bolt here. And then your other section will be over here and then connect to your caliper. So just quick reference. We'll show you after install. We got pretty good light over there. Light it up and go over it after it's installed. So, 
She's here to work. Charlie, what are you doing? You're not... Are you taking a nap under the Polaris? Hey, what are you doing? Why are you on the... You can't be taking a nap right now. <clears throat> Come on, bud. Get over here and get some work done. God. Jeremy, you see this? We're over here working. This man's over here on the clock taking a nap. You need to do something. Who's huh? tired? Who's tired? Leave me alone. I'm about to drag this bitch, okay? Everybody, please pull their weight. Charlie, we need some help on something. All right, so first problem, I've never done brakes on a G before, but so considering that I pulled the old one off all as one piece, well, let's go put this one back on. You see this pin that goes right here? Well, you can't get it in. Why? Why is it like that? Bend it with a mallet. Keaton. Shroldy, yeah. can you help us, please? Let me see! Oh, meatballs! Oh. oh, look at that! Brian fixed it! Yeah! So, picking back up where we left off. The, uh, the pin right here that you can't get in because of that, in or out. So basically, just kind of took this apart, put this pin in up here, and or this one, put it all back together, and then you could slide this one in without having to pull it out. So, rear brakes is done on this side, and then we got the front side is done. New pads, calipers, bracket, rotors. The bad part. So you don't see a bright shiny rotor uh, red one over here for cal ah, caliper yeah sorry my bad we've been working on this thing for a while but anyways so we had a problem three of the four wheels fit this one the caliper bracket doesn't fit something something's off so where this one right here as you see there's a lot of clearance right there between the rotor and the bracket this one actually when you went to go bolt it up was sitting completely against the rotor uh, and the bolt holes wasn't lining up so gonna have to send rock auto some pictures and a couple emails and see if I can get that one replaced but anyways so far we got all four wheels on or well bled ready to rock and roll that one will be okay I didn't have any problems out of it to start with just went ahead and put the new pads on to let them get broke in I'll swap it out on my own backs are done they look all new um, when somebody had this car prior and you see the gray silver spray paint or whatever so i had actually tried to paint the damn brakes on which wasn't i don't know it was kind of stupid you see a little spray paint here and then we got the, the lines on the new lines let's see kind of dark let's shine it up so the new lines we got them on the new front lines i'll show you those So the new lines, the all one piece, go in and mount up. Back up to its original location. All the hardware and stuff is supplied. So, our supervisor here is going to file a complaint with Rock Auto for sending us the wrong parts. What do you think, buddy? I think they're a bunch of nincompoops. Nincompoops. That's a smart word. So yeah, we'll wrap this up and try to finish the day off. Well, trial and efforts. We uh, had to lead the brakes twice. You gotta check. Is there any fluid? Yeah. We'll yeah, there's a little bit. We'll top it off. Ah. Not sure if we're having a problem out of the ABS system or what. Maybe there was some air in the ABS. Oh, oh, focus, focus, focus! Don't make a don't make a mess.
master. And the internet people will tell you how they would have done it and wouldn't have made a mess. Oh yeah, you hear that? That's Taco Bell and the butt noises. That Taco Bell last night. It's getting me. It's like the walking farts. It sounds like a machine gun sometimes. Get right, yeah. in there. Shout out to Rock Auto. You guys have great success. 75%. Three out of four fit. Good to go. Go test drive it again. Oh, it's man. Shirt. It's hot. It's up for sale. 1500 OBO. You know what I got. No low balling. No, 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 no. I'll give you a pack of Skittles. 15 bucks when I get paid on Wednesday. Who is that guy? I'll smash quarter panels in. What? Supervisor over here. What do you think about it, bud? How are we going to fix this? This guy's always in our ass. Always OSA violations telling us don't do this and don't do that. Hell, he didn't even buy us lunch today. What kind of boss is that? Speaking of lunch, where's your co-pilot? He's taking a nap. Is he sleeping again? Oh, man. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he go sleep on us? What are you doing hiding back oh here, bud? Oh my gosh. Get over here. We can't ever get anything out of Seraldi. Get over here. You're going for a ride. You want to do some hood rat shit? Yeah, come on. Let's buckle you up. There you go. Let's put a seatbelt on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. So, I'm sure you guys saw a little bit earlier, but... Well, today's episode... <laughs> I'm stuck in my own yard in wet grass. I'm stuck in my own yard in wet grass. Oh 
my neighbors love me. All my all my neighbors love me. I had to run out and get some furniture and had a little problem negotiating uh you know wet grass and a two-wheel drive truck with ball tires on the back <laughs>